10 years ago, this girl was looking like this. Because my mom lost her marriage because of me. Hi, my name is Effie Patrick. 10 years ago, I was poisoned and I did not know who did it. I said I should drink my urine and I will eat sand. There's one medicine that deals with um, dog feces. With dog shit? Yes, I will drink it. They will take me to some places. I will use, they will cut me with razor every morning. I thought maybe I would die. So because I don't expect, even the day I did the operation, I thought I would die. So they will start cutting me with razor every morning, putting some medicine, things I don't even know, even hot water, different kind of medicine for my head. As in, I started drinking uh, alcohol. I became an alcoholist. I'm very curious. Why were you looking like this 10 years ago? What actually happened to you? Actually, it all started. 2012 when I was coming back from school I was having stomach ache so I thought it was menstrual pain or warm like how old were you then I was 13 years old okay so you were like expecting menstrual yes yes so when I get to the ass the pain became severe like but I, was, I, I still thought it was the pain the menstrual pain though because that is how it uh, taught us in school at school then that we should we expect the pain so, so you were very innocent you thought it was menstrual pain but you didn't know what that it was poison oh no so to my mom my mom went to buy drugs we bought all kind of medicine even some herbs to calm the pain that very day so i slept off that day the next morning pain became severe like so my tummy became strong like I, I, everybody was surprised when my mom she was like what is happening i don't even know so i can't even stretch my back i can't stand well so i was walking like this so my mom took me to like how can you show us how we're walking like like this yes, like buga <laughs> <laughs> so i can't stretch my back i can't stand very well because of the pain so my mom just quickly she took me to the nearest hospital at um Agbaru. General Hospital. So we get it. The doctor checked, and the first the statement he said it was like he said this thing is spiritual that he can't see anything because I, the thing was they did a scan or X-ray or what? Use his hands to check or some like to check, and he said this thing looks spiritual that he don't know what's happening to me. But so he offered to give us treatment for free that very day. So he gave me some medicine to calm the pain, but not to heal it, but just to calm the pain. So from there we went home. That very day, she took me to one native, um, one lady that used to rob native women. So the lady, like herbalist. Yes. So the lady robbed me and said this thing is poison that she should, as she said, make her, she carry a picky run or safe not, they go kill her or say this thing is poison. Okay, the herbalist told your mom yes. that she should take you very very far, if not that you'll be killed. Yes. So she, my mom started crying that I did not do basically anything. No, I'm innocent to all those kind of things. She started asking me questions. Me, I don't know anything. I'm still very young. Like what questions were they asking you? If I did anything wrong or... If you offended anybody? Anybody. If my hands are clean, am I might wish to go to Kovu and all those kind of things. So I'll be like, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't do anything. So. so there was like a pressure from your family? Like because everybody was... My family, but my family, they know like they know that they trust you yes so all these outsiders like what kind of people extended family extended fam- there's relatives neighbors people even the people that they will come for treatment they will say they know the medicine to uh, make me feel okay they will start asking me questions like am i sure if i'm not a wish they will accuse me that i'm a wish like this girl she's a wish she don't want to talk like that's what they used to say so how did you feel all those times they were accusing you I mean, I trust myself. Oh, I say I don't do anything, but sometimes I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be wish safe. Maybe I'll be wish I don't know. All those kind of things. I'll be asking my mom. I say, mommy, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be wish. I'll be, I check. I don't know. Maybe I'll be the wish, but I don't know. Say I'll be wish. So sometimes I'll be like, no, I'm not in wish. All this kind of thing. So we still go to churches. So the pastor will say they just want to destroy my destiny because my very young age at school, I was very brilliant at school. So. It will be like just because of my education, they have already seen my star, they want to destroy all those kind of things. So I'll be like, all those on school, they give me hope, say, okay, this is what's happening to me. So my mom stood by me all those time, like, she never surrendered for months. Even when they will carry her, go different places, we get to here, we'll carry her, go to the I say, the picking language, she goes to come as, she's not going to 
talk, say, she could just ask me, say, you sure say if you might be, you sure say you're not doing anything. I say, Mommy, I'm not, she go believe me, she go trust me, say, yes, I'll not do anything. Okay, hey, Mama, this is your mom, right? Okay, so everything where you're picking, they talk natural. Natural. Now, now, waiting happen. When did it happen? And she's come for school, because she's belay the pain. So, they say belay the pain. Can't go buy drugs. See me being a mess rapid, they come because never see her once. Can't go buy the drugs for her. See it. Before overnight, see belay the full belay of strong. So I can't take her to the hospital. So I reach the hospital, the doctor say not see anything. Can't give her drugs, make her go home. So if I know God, make her go serve my God, make her go pray for God. I say, okay, we'll go, go. As we go, four days it have her. The belay of big. Though they be as they look like they big. I will call to this picking run. No church where we will not go. L- like how many churches now? Uh, it is 20. Oh. TB church and two times. So. Okay, well, now from Delta State here, yeah, Ugeli, yeah. Go, Lagos. Yeah. The first day they stay for five days. Second time. Stay Most two weeks for for Lagos now. TB church. <laughs> no church where we will not go. What if this church where that man will die? So. Church checkable. Go there. This is uh, a one more, one more church, and they start and sell for a fro. So, no church will not go. From there, we don't go many, many places. Her valleys, where will not go. So, and this speaking of God, I pray I just end. Now, your first or last child? At fourth one. My fourth child. Fourth. So, now God's job put the way. Now, we scan, we go scan. 19 places, they do the scan, they don't see anything. Come back to you. Thank you. Okay, so tell me, how did this affect your schooling? What cl- what um, class were you at that time? The whole thing started. So I was at actually this whole thing started at uh, from primary school because the pain. Okay, wait. At the age of thirteen, we're still in primary school. Okay, in primary six at thirteen. So I was from that pain. I was having the pain, and the sickness started. So I still managed to go to school. I wrote my primary six exam, entered secondary school. From there, the stomach was growing, so I'm still going to school. Even they, they used to laugh me, they used to mock at me, but I'm still going to school because I love school a lot of time. So I still go to school there. So, so they used to bully you in school. Some people thought you were pregnant, though. Yes, yes. So they'll be like, you know, be gossiping me. Some people will be like, don't get this girl, she's a witch, don't eat her food. Though. Even my close friends will be like, <coughs> they'll start giving me attitude. Like this in school, what school? Oh, her secondary school. In Ugeli, yeah. Uh, yes, okay, Europe. So it'll be like this girl, don't talk to this girl. Even my clothes, the ones that are very close to me, they stop talking to me. So I'll be on my own. But some few ones will still come around. So I managed to I got to SS2. The tummy was very big, like that one. Okay, as big as this. Yes, so I still go to school. So my uniform was very big. Until one very day I was they've closed from school that so the pain has come. The stomach started paining me. So I was just walking very slow. So my principal just looked at me and said, this girl don't come to the square again because you don't want you to die here. So that day I just felt touch. I went to the ass. What class were you then? SS2. SS2. Okay. I should just stay at home. So I just, I stopped going to school. I just stay at home sometimes. So now I'm very curious, how were you able to ascertain that this was poison? How did you come up with the conclusion? Because the whole thing, eh, like... Actually, people also said all those herbalists, even churches, they will be like this thing is. Even the first doctor that sisters, they want to carry out this kind, they say this thing is spiritual because we can't find anything. Imagine as big as that tummy, they will not see anything. Go for a scan, they will not see anything. Nothing. Uh, how many scans? Different hospitals, different places. Nothing. So, like, um, during the course of trying to get solution to this problem that you don't even know anything about where there are certain things that you were asked to do you know certain things that you were asked to do that it will help you it will heal you were there anything like that yes at the very first stage i said i should drink my urine for almost how many months i was morning and evening before i sleep morning and evening you were drinking your urine yes i would drink my urine some give me sand i should put sand i will eat sand there's one medicine that did with um, dog feces. With dog shit? Yes, I would drink it. They would take me to some places. I would, they would cut me with razor every morning. Because if I, my mom would take me to anywhere, they would say I should stay the place till I would get well. So they would start cutting me with razor every morning, putting some medicine. 
things I don't even know, even hot water, different kind of medicine for my head. As in, I started drinking uh, alcohol, I became an alcoholist. I used to drink okay, how? Okay, alcohol because of the medicine. Yes, medicine. <laughs> Every morning, I'll drink maybe TV glass in the morning. I'll become high, like <laughs> no blood again for the mom. Just the mom. I only cry. My mom gonna cry because it's speaking. Ah. Did you ever thought that you were going to ever be this like this? I thought maybe I would die. Said because I don't expect. Even the day I did the operation, I thought I would die. I cannot expect this ending so fast. So tell me about the support you got from your family and friends. Like, did people run from you or did people stay with you during those times? Actually, many people. My family, they stood by me, no matter what, my sister, my mom. But family people, no, no family member, just my, fam- my mom and my sisters. That's all. Because my mom lost her marriage because of me, actually. She lost her because they were accusing her that she was the one that did this to me, so that... Because uh, they took her to a different place, they, was, they accused me that I'm a witch, but she did not agree. So they just switched it that she's the one that did it. So she just she had no other to pack, she just asked to leave the marriage for them. <coughs> so she, we moved down from that place and moved down to this Ugele. That is how everything went. It's very tough then. So, um, how did you get your healing? Okay. After so many years of, I went to different churches. So even at the church, they do mock me. It'll be like it's on. About you know they go safe. Now every time for different churches, they'll be like, I went to one church. They say a daughter, the pastor said I'm a winch. I've drunk blood. He gave me several days. I would die after the seven. I said okay, seven days pass. Not see happen. So I surrendered, I said, I beg, I will not go to church again, I'm tired. I should just stay in the house, because I, I used to stay alone. My family, my sister, they are working, so I'll be like, let me just stay in the house. I'll be watching TV, Joshua, money service, praying, and of course, my period ceased since that time, so I was like, so that one said, I was just watching this Simone TV, I said, okay, if this man is a real man of God, and this, people, people do pray, um, testify that the screen, they used to touch the screen, and miracle will happen. I'll be like, okay, if this man is real, this thing should happen to me. So that baby that I just prayed and I touched the screen instantly, I felt one deep pain in my tummy. I said, ah, I be I won't die. One man just say, you won't die now. So just stand up. One man say, go sleep for a room. You go die for there. One say, stay part of me. You die for here. Don't go anywhere. So I'll be like, one man say, I should just call my sister. I said, so I won't die now. Okay, so now don't see here for me again. I don't die. Ah. I said, okay, me just relax. Instantly, blood started coming out from my body again. It was black blood. From that day, I started seeing my period. So that won't even motivate my mom wait, to wait, wait. Um, wait, wait. I need to I need to understand what he has seen. You mean that you were watching Emmanuel TV that Steve Joshua has the synagogue church of all nations and um something you out of faith you decided to touch the screen that maybe something could happen and then something actually happened. Black blood was flowing out from your body. Wow. So that was when I start seeing my period again. So after after many years of not seeing your period. After six years of not seeing my period. So after six years of not seeing your period, after touching the screen, you began to see your period. Yes. So two years. Okay, two years passed by again. So the time was still like that, but I was seeing my period then. So I became I have faith that everything will be okay very soon. So there this very day I was just in the house. I was in the house. They called her that somebody died actually. So somebody we know said she died. So I was like, okay. I was in the house. My woman just came to me. I said, you go and do scan. So I said, I should go and do scan. But I've gone to many as I've I've did many scan. Nothing they they don't used to say anything. So I even told my mom, my mom was like, I better don't go. And they will not say anything. We still go back with the same results. So just relax. So I said, no, I want to go. So she said, okay, I should go. That she will not follow me. Oh. I said, I said, I will go. So okay, but you're able to walk. Yes, but the thing affected my back. It's like as if I have hunched back. Because mm. if the pain want to start at night, it start from eight o'clock in the night till since in the morning. I will not sleep. It's very, as in a very. I don't have pain. My enemy experience this kind of thing at all because the pain. Eh, even my leg affected my leg too because the leg would become stiff. My mom be using a eh, she will use, use her hand to eat it like all slippers because I can't walk. So that day I just said, okay, let me go and do this scan. So I dressed up. I went to uh, one hospital here, St. Nicholas. That was the f- hospital I went for the scan. So I got there. So because the doctor know me actually, I do come to the hospital for scan. She just, the doctor just smile, look at me. I say, say what again? I say, I want to do scan. Say, ah, 
He said, but I've come here for scam before. I said, yes, I said, I want to do this one again. He said, okay. So he carried out the scam. He said, he did not see anything. He said, he just died. He said, okay, I should go to Syria Clinic at Sayat Quarters. It's so cool. He said, I should go there for this scam. Maybe he just tell me so that my mind will just, I'll be okay because I was crying already. He said, I should go to that hospital. I said, okay. So I get back. I told my mom, I said, I'll not tell you before. I'm not telling me you know go to scan. They go tell you something, not say anything. So I said, Bob, I'm going back the next day. That was told us. So I'll go and look for that hospital. So that very night, we not sleep. I and my mom, we pray that night. I collected my TV shower, can water. It's the empty one though. So I put water inside and add salt to it. I used to pray that night. I said, God, you are the one telling me to go and do scan. I don't know. So why are they not seeing this thing? I said, she just revealed everything to me. So I slept off that night. So the next morning, I quickly wake up. And I went to look for that hospital. So when we get to the hospital, ah, one of my uncle, like one of my brothers, like that. So we get to the hospital, we do not even spend time. We just pay for the scan, four thousand naira, and they ask me to go and see the doctor. The doctor do the scan. It's not up to, it's not up to twenty minutes safe. It's just detect what is in the tummy, and uh, it was like okay, detected something in the tummy. Say there is something there, so but nothing has been there before now. Oh, All of a sudden, yes, it's just. Uh, I'm trying not to be superstitious here, but you mentioned that somebody died, and after that, after you heard that that person died, there was this strong conviction in you go for test, go for test, go. But you've been going for test all this, so I've been going for scan, but nothing. Then now you say, Oh, let me go, and then the doctor finally found something. So he asked me, like, Where have I been since? Like, this thing, I told him everything that happened. He said, Jesus. It was like he was even surprised. He said, Am I sure? I said, Yes. He said, Okay, because the doctor that directed me to that place gave me one note to give to the doctor. So he quickly drew something inside. I had to carry out the operation. He said, I should go back to that first hospital that that man is the only man that can do this operation for me. He said, Because if they should fill me out of this country, they will not be able to. He said, I should go and meet that doctor, which is Nicholas. He said, I should go and meet that doctor. He's the only doctor that can do this operation. So I said, Okay. So I quickly rushed back. I called my mom. So we went to the hospital that very day. We get there. I gave the man the, the doctor the book. He was shocked as he was surprised. He said, Am I sure if the doctor gave this me this scan result? I said yes. So he stayed at me for some minutes before he would say anything. Like it's the only thing that was because he's a pastor too. So he said, Jesus. He said, Am I sure if this thing is the doctor that gave me this book? I said yes. Ha. He said, Okay, he said no big deal. He just said we should pay, we we'll bring him two fifty for the operation. Two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Mm, for the operation. Bring uh, two pounds of blood. Say before the operation, we deposit eighty thousand naira. That first, he said anytime we are ready. Say, but they advised us to do it that week. So we said, okay. My mom, she's scared already. Ha! Ah. She said, no. She said, I'm not going to do operation. She said, I will just die. <laughs> she said, I don't want to start to cut this belly. Where they want to start from? So she was scared. The doctor said, no. Say we should do the operation. How old were you at the, this time now? Nin- at the time that you went for the operation. 19 18 years sorry okay 18 we're going to 19 18 to 19. <laughs> so my mom said okay we agreed so when we get to the house ha must sleep oh prayer even for nights as i won't sleep just so there we went to just with that on saturday no on thursday on thursday the operation was on saturday he booked us on saturday for the operation so that's on thursday we'll get to started praying fasting and prayer well, actually, I do fast that period of time on Wednesday. I do fast Wednesday and Friday. So that day, my mom was just... So we started playing gospel song, praying, fasting. That Thursday, Friday, only two days. We have only... My just in one day. So my mom would took me to one church. She got the church, she do went for prayer. So we should go out and the pastor should pray for me so that I will come back with the testimony. So we went to the church. We waited for the pastor, we not saying, but ah, she said, let's go home. So we get to the house. That night, which is on Saturday, the next day is Saturday. We are, we are getting ready for the operation already. So we started packing our things. So even at night, I want to sleep. She just, I'm not sleeping though. She just peep to my, she will come to my, she will peep. She will just be looking at me. Or, Why? I don't know. Maybe she is thinking about something like, if I want to lose this child, maybe this picking now, she will come go, she will go, come back. This picking one day. Even me, if I did come, I will say this, I will call go now. And I will call follow my mom, come back, all those kind of things. My junior was in the ass. So when they call the answer, say we won't go. I say we won't go to church because the doctor said we should not tell anybody. But even my sisters, they no no. So but we told them that I want to do a picture, but I said the next month. That's what we said. So she would just be staring at me. I was just I mean at the people too. She they peep me at the people. So 
I'll be like, <laughs> so. Oh man, not true. Not true. <laughs> so she gave me ah my last one. So where would they go? I said, where would they go? Shot you. I caught him. I said, would they go crazy? I call like I said, if I not come back, maybe I pass the travel. I would say I caught him. I said, if I not come back, I will pass the travel. I say okay. So we we'll just tell our neighbor to look after my younger ones. So that day we get ready for the operation. Get to the hospital. Even when we they go for road motor because I'm the first person with a book for operation that day. So motor car was prepared for road. My mom said we we'll go carry the load for a trek, go to the hospital. So the coffee is the motor car we call reach the hospital. Damn. We don't even reach, don't even wait, make her pray first. My mom says straight to the theater. Ah, my mind's all caught. My mom is all, hey God, see how special it is there. I just, as I enter the theater, I just get one mind. I just cross my mind, I say, I beg, I try. Even if I die safe, I try, I don't tire. Make her just do them, I go rest, because the pain and everything is too much. So I just made up my mind. So they just dress me for the operation. So they gave me this uh, drawers they used to, that is gentle for, <coughs> so they will sleep up before they operate you. It not work. So I was, I, was, I was awake till the operation finished. The operation was, I mean, it's almost... Wait, wait, you were awake while they were operating? Yes. So I'm supposed to be awake. But did you feel pain? Yes, and I feel the pain. I was even shouting. My mom used to yell outside. My mom, <laughs> she started crying. Wait, wait, you were awake? Yes. You were feeling pain as they were cutting your body? Yes. So the doctor said that maybe if I slept off, I will not wake up again. So that's what he said. Thank you. So thank God I didn't know what so I was. At least they gave you drugs to minimize the pain. They gave me drugs, but nothing seems to work. So I was just. Ha. And you were just 19. Yes. So I was the only thing I can do is just to shake my head like this. I thought I said I should shame you to press my head. With the ah. My mom was crying outside. I would just shout. If I stop shouting, she would say my kid will die. Because she's too close to the theater. She'd be like, I used to yell. She'd be like, my kid will die. My kid will die. So she was shouting. So luckily, yeah, after tearing the smoke, that thing that was in that bucket. There was water inside, like 20 liters of water inside. It's more than 20 because some pour on the uh, theater ground, like on the floor. So they're fixing pipe to sort bring out the water before they can carry out that thing. So before they carry out that thing, they just they suck out those water first and bring it out. You were still awake. Still awake. So they used to bring it, before they bring it out. Every daughter herself was very weak after the operation. He could not even stitch. He just he said the nurse should do the stitching. Then he quickly rushed outside because the place as in they all put the theater down so anybody can enter because the senior, he said he has never done anything like that in his life so okay, that was the first time he was operating that, yeah that particular operation so it was like the thing was as in there he was very shocked so he rushed outside they stitched me i was awake oh he finished his stitching so i started feeling cold they brought me to cold from the theater to the main world just like this so they just so they brought me outside. My mom saw me. Ah, she started calling people. So they sent me to the bed. Started calling people. Ah, this girl. Every year was filled up. Even the people that said I'm a wish self, they just came to see if this thing is true. Like they really have operated, operated this girl. This thing is they can. As in any doctor can do this thing. So the, everybody, I call my sisters. Everybody. So after the operation, the doctor said that um, because he was when he was operating me, I heard him saying something like, he said hey, this girl will not be able to see her period again. Because of one thing, I don't know what he remove or I don't know. But I heard him saying it like, or maybe if she wants to see her period, it's only by God's grace. Maybe after six years or seven years I had. So he said before I was my <coughs> my period again. So my own down did not cause I'm so far I did okay. That's because I'm because I'm period. So we went to the ward, stayed there. How many months stay? Not stay up to two months in the hospital. So he said before I will work again, it will be up to three to four months because the operation was very it affected my vein my, so it was very, very severe so that's you know one month after the operation my mom went to wash she went to wash some plates outside so one might say i should stand up i should just try my best so i, I just try i walked down to my because i'm in private ward so i walked down so, so a lady saw me so i quickly rushed back to the bed so the lady told my mom that i saw your daughter oh, so my mom was has in, my mom said not be my picking, you see, God forbid, my picking there's something for she will worker. Now three months time. Now you see just now. She got the argue with the woman, it's not my picking. So my mom came in, my mom just asked me, say, ah, one woman said she see you when you work. I said yes, I work. My mom said I lie. So I stand up and I try my best. Ah, quickly. Oh yeah, the hospital, the nurses all the appeal, all the appeal, this girl quick recover. Oh, ah. 
the doctor just came down. The doctor looked at me and said, Ah, for this thing where he's speaking, this one, he said, We are not paying any money again. Just the 80,000 we deposited that time. So Instead of paying 250,000, the doctor changed his mind. Yeah, he said, and, and he said, Because I'm not stressed, he said, We should not pay any money again. So he said, From that day, my name is testimony. He said, I should not, I should answer testimony from that day. He said, That his name is, is going to call me from today. And so I said, Okay. So after everything, after the hospital we discharged to our house so the next month after my operation and everything my medicine starts uh-huh. and the doctor said yes. that you are not likely to expect your yes. period until six years time yes so my period starts my mom asked me to go back to the they took me back to the hospital to tell the doctor that this is what happened ah. the doctor was shocked he said what i want to talk again he said because this one i can't believe i said i carry the talk my world not quite come to say enough if you talk anything pretty sensitive my body except because this one don't pass be careful he said this one is he said my name he said he had miracle join the name he said because this thing like this now you can't even say anything so that's how everything happened and ended wow 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 this is serious you know when you talked about how you were operated while still awake and feeling all of those pains man i was just like god how did you even survive that because somebody's awake you are cutting the person's tummy you are taking a lot of things out and you are just there feeling the pain that must have been hell for you so i uh, you mentioned something about um some pastors or was it herbalist they asked you to eat dog shit yes i used to do some medicine different kind. even frog you ate frog yes now nah. lizards they used to do medicine for me so what's, what I want to know about the, like what did you t- let's talk about the sacrifice the things that you had to do just so you'll be back to your normal self hmm. a lot of things so ah there's one that ah, this one they gave to me then bread and canny roasted canny one uh, celestial woman <laughs> she came to my mom and said she has a solution to the problem so she brought a gallon of uh, water for a uh, four liter from river she put bread inside the water and the roasted can he caught the bread into 24 he bring the can i was even taking it to school roasted can every one one hour i will eat it every one hour i will eat it every one hour so i was looking to my time if i want to at night i not sleep oh i will just my mom will just wake me oh yeah eat the can and bread i will eat i will just sleep out eat the can and bread i will just wake up hey that one eh? yeah Different, different people. Even this, the one with the sand, don't I? Well, we'll just be eating sand. Well, like you ate dog feces, you ate frog, yeah, lizard. Too medicine. Too many, so many ashes. This ashes on fire. You put it inside. Can put a gogoro inside. I will drink. Different things. Many leaves. I don't even know their names. Eh? So they that time they used to cut me with razor every morning. Cut on my body. See blood gushing out. We spray some things inside different places, ah, different things. Like. Right, we thank God for life. So let's talk about your life presently. So, how long did you take you to recover? Or are you still recovering? Actually, so actually, my daughter said I should go and give birth. That is the only thing that is. She said I should go and give birth. I want you to give birth anytime soon. So I'll be like, I want to get something doing first because I could not go to school. So, where did you stop? Um, the SS2. So actually, SS2. The first time, my stepdad was the one assisting me. So, but it's late now. So he was the one who stood by me then. So, so, so we lost him. Everything changed. He never stayed to enjoy what he labored for. So, but now. So do you have hope to still go back to school? Yes, yes. Are you working towards it? Actually, I would have written exam this year, but it's very late. It's late already, so I could not. So you're hoping to you 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 are going to get jam form. What would you like to study in school? I Me, mean, actually, I do like mass combo, but I don't know. I like mass combo. You are still you are going to consider it. Yes. So right now I'm still I'm just working. I'm into makeup. You learnt it for how long? It's not up to one year. Oh. So I do makeup and actually what I want to do is like I love I don't want to be a self boss like only in a makeup store and at the same time as in a photography inside, you know that kind of thing. After makeup you will do the photo coverage and everything. That is what I love editing. Yeah, you're interested in photography. Yes, photography and that makeup stuff. 
So, so you are currently learning photography? No, I'm. I learned makeup, then I switched to photography. So I will go back to makeup to upgrade my hand again. So I stopped the photography because I do not have camera and laptop for my editing. So I'm just using my phone. If I use my phone to snap, I will use my phone to edit for now. Okay, so if you have a camera, if you have a laptop, you you'll be very happy. Yes, I will be very happy because I will be doing my editing stuff and snapping all this kind of. Thing. Okay, at least with that you should be able to. But even now, people do come like I should go and rest camera to come and snap them. Yeah, okay. I'll be like, Can you show me some of your work? Some of the things you like, pictures you've taken. Do you have any? Then it's not this phone I'm using, so I lost my phone then. Okay, so. But people are giving, you are getting jobs anyway. Yes, okay. yeah. Last week I'm going to go to So. Okay, what about the people that that got scared because of what happened to you? How are they reacting? Like, seeing you. I don't like keeping enmity, so everybody's my friend. Even those ones that have did me wrong, that gossip me, that have ask people not to talk to me. As far as my eyes are clean, I not do anything, so I not put anybody in my mind like this person. So everyone is your friend, yeah. Regardless of what they did, what they said about. You cannot pray for anybody to experience that thing. Aha. No, nobody should experience that thing. That pain is too much. Now, how did this poison of a thing? How did it happen? As in, like, was it true food? How? There are many. As in, we don't know. Some people say true food. Some people say it's my measure pad. Some people say I match it. Some people say it's my f- I urine. They pack my urine. So the thing is just summer. Like, but it's poison. poison. Yes. Or you just don't know. I, you probably at 13 you were just like an innocent girl. So even if it was food, you wouldn't even know. If it was something somebody did to you while you were playing, you wouldn't still know because you were innocent. Because mm. that time, eh, <laughs> sitting here like this now, they will come oppress me. Like all those spiritual attack. Okay, sleeping paralysis. Hey. They will just come. Every, every afternoon, night or afternoon, morning, you can't, can't do anything, just God. Oh. You can't even sit down like this. If I was sit down, they would put foam inside the chair with my bum bum because there's nothing. Okay, can you stand? Because um, I think you're a very tall person, so let's look at you. Okay, so, <laughs> she's very, very tall. Come, let's walk out. So, how are you, how you bouncing back to life? life is how, is li- how is life treating you? Let's walk. Life is fair, I would say, because my family, they are still there. They still love me, I still love them. Even though I'm doing wrong, they will be like, I used to come because one thing I used to do, I used to copy things. <laughs> I used to make calls, like, I know I hate making You don't like then speaking on the phone? Because mm-hmm. then I not, I have, I don't make calls, I stay, I stay alone. Even when I contacted you, I be like, you told me that you don't make, you don't accept calls, except? Yes, I, you, yes. I hate calls, I don't message you, that's all. So life is just there. But I hope you are not finding it difficult to make friends. No, no. Okay. If I want to work, I would like to raise my shares. It would be like you don't born before. If, so okay, let's see your talk if I can't okay, come So if I can't explain. And you are just 20. How old are you now? 23. 23. Yeah. Like, are you a mother? But me, if they ask me, I'm, I'm 16 because those years I not calculated it to my years. Those years I'm suffering now. I don't want to calculate it. I'm still young. I'm so when's your birthday? Sorry to ask. January 29. Eh? January 29. Okay. Did you celebrate this year? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I'm happy for you. I'm happy to know that you went through all of those things. And I mean, look at you. I mean, you don't even look like somebody that went through anything. So, do you have any advice for people out there? Yes. Yeah, so my advice is, I want many people, as in this thing called faith, eh, it works a lot. Because before I went for that operation, nobody prayed for me. I was in the ass alone. I fast myself. I prayed for myself. Like, because everybody, even my sister, they got tired. Like, this person, you know, they were safe. So, I keep to my faith. As far as your hands are clean, you know, even if your hands are not clean, you pray for God f- to, for- to forgive you for forgiveness. Just pray for forgiveness. God will definitely answer you. So, even after I got here, they'll be like, you don't need to wear this thing. You don't need to wear jeans. You don't need to wear this. So, I'll be like, that is not what God said. 
Even at the theater, when I want to do the picture, I'll be like, God, if this needs to see, just show me. Because when people, they operate, they'll say, they go heaven, they go see. So, so I'll be like, I say, hey, God, just show me this needs this to see. They'll be like, it's not to, to be a pastor before they will say, hey, you are grateful to God. I me, mean, I do pray a lot. Every morning, I thank God for my life. Like, even me posting that video for people to see, it's more than enough, like, more than enough reason for them to give thanks. I want people to see what God can do. So people be like, yeah, if God is the one that did it, why is it lasted for eight years or seven years? I'll be like, hmm. God, it has a purpose. The, everything has a purpose. Even if, okay, maybe at that very stage, God healed me. I might not be here today. Maybe I thought I would die since. But, but, maybe with another thing or different things. I'll be like, so it's just like that. Everyone knows why. And my best is here to come. That's what I'll say. I'll yeah. say I'm still struggling. So. so what do you hope to become? Like, let's talk about... You, what do you no now let's I, i'm not talking about your career here like what do you after going through all of these experiences what is something you are like to do for yourself for society you know, ah, i really want to help people especially my mom okay so that's why i don't visit that most like if i come i would like to give her money so because she sold many things because of me she sold all her clothes her stores everything she will lost her marriage because of me so I'm just trying my best, and if from the little I have, and anytime you think about it, you feel bad. Yes, I will do cry. Even my family says, if I see them sometimes going through some struggling, I will just be crying. I say, God, just bless me first, so that I will just leave this family from this predicament. I'll be like, even especially my mom, I just want her to be happy, and my grandma, that one, she's in the village. So, I'll be like, any little, if I work like that, sometimes I work for a little money. If it's five thousand, I will give my mom TV thousand. I might even give her four thousand, make her with one thousand euro. Because I want her to be okay. I will stop. I don't used to ask her for money because I want. I want to be the one to be taking care of her for now. Don't need to tell her to give me money anymore. So what's your TikTok handle? Because I found you on TikTok. I saw your video and I. Yes. TikTok people ban the video like this. It's no longer on TikTok again. Yeah. So. What's your TikTok handle? If you know. If you what? Do you want to spell it out? If you know E F E Z H I N H O. If you know twenty two, then. Hashtag wet. Hashtag wet. Oh, that's a long yes, name. If you see, I have pink hair inside. So just... All right. Um, I feel I feel a little tired because I've been holding this mic for like thirty minutes. So, you know, I I found um if you're on TikTok and I was moved to message. I was like, how can I tell your story? I mean, is this real? When I saw the video, I was like, do things like this even happen? And um, just listening to you, I've actually learned something. I can tell you that there are a lot of people who go through half of or quarter of what you went through and their family will abandon them. Their family will give up on them. So kudos to your family because they didn't give up on you. And you talked about faith. Like you had this conviction to reach out to the screen and you felt something inside of you. You also, let's work, let's work. You also had this conviction that, oh, let me go for test again. Even when people are like, it's unnecessary. It is redundant. You don't have to go for tests. I mean, you've been going there yet. Nothing has, nothing has changed. The same results. But you went and, you know, so you didn't even give up on yourself too. So I think that you are actually strong. Um, <laughs> you know, in, in the season of awards, people are giving awards to people on social media. I think this should be the this girl should be considered for an award too, as the strongest girl currently in Delta State. So if he, um, how can we even support you? Like your business, should we come and should I tell people to come and patronize you? So if you are looking for somebody to do makeup for you contact if a i'm gonna put your whatsapp number is that okay if i put your whatsapp number but you don't like receiving calls this story will teach you the importance of having a good family it will teach you faith it will teach you consistency and faith meanwhile i would like to use this opportunity to tell you about one expert if you are new on one expert registration is free all you have to do is use my promo code udu i am going to get a 300 percent bonus of up to 189,000 naira. in one expert there's also what they call the no risk offer in case you lose you are going to get free 1500 euros and 150 spin on the one x games then the hyper bonus will let you increase your winning in correlation to the amount of events you bet on go right now register for free and make sure it's the promo could do i are going to get a 300 percent bonus of up to 189 000 naira.